Margot and Duke are lucky to be going to school today. When their elder sister got a cough, their mum Sarah couldn't get her a test. So she resorted to getting a private one done through her work. It was extremely worrying really because the implications of the fact that I couldn't get a test would mean that all the children would be at home for two weeks and they've already missed so much school and um, that was concerning them as well. I missed my friends all through lockdown too so I kind of wanted to stay at school but then also for my, my sister's safeness I, I wanted to make sure she was okay. At their school, Cooper Perry Primary near Stafford, 13 pupils were off today. And according to a survey of head teachers in England, eight out of ten schools have had children absent because they can't get a test. More than four in ten schools report staff absent because they can't get a test, while one in 20 report a whole year group has been sent home. In their guidance to parents, schools have tried to be as specific as possible about the symptoms to look out for. A high temperature, the loss or change in the sense of smell or taste, or a continuous new cough. And that means coughing a lot for more than an hour or at least three episodes of coughing in a day. But it is really only a test that can distinguish COVID from common playground bugs. There's absolutely no way as a paediatrician that I can tell um, the difference between COVID-19 and another winter virus like flu. And so if I can't tell as a paediatrician, then parents can't tell from the symptoms. Children are going to be tested several times this winter and they're going to be sent home from school with um, coughing or they're going to be sent home with a fever. It's been particularly difficult to set up the environment in here. What Cooper Perry Primary's head teacher believes would help is government money to ease the financial strain of teachers going off sick. We're going to be without staff and I cannot afford to replace them. So if the government could potentially put monies into school to support us in replacing teachers that are isolating, then that would really help moving forward. Schools like this one worked very hard to get pupils learning again and to give parents confidence their children would be safe. Efforts that have now been undermined by the problems with the testing system. Catherine Jones, 5 News, Stafford.